You know what? I know why so-and-so didn't get healed. I didn't lay my number 10 on my soul. Oh, God. What is wrong with it? How many of you know that every now and then some people get so puffed up, they'll go to the singing, and everybody sings a song, everybody does a good thing, and they'll go home and say, that's the loudest singing I've ever been to. You didn't hear me sing, did you? Come on now. I've been to ministers' conferences where the ministers have tried to out-preach one another. How many of you know that that's not the power of God? That's not showing the love of God. That's not showing who He is in your life. It's the Word of God. Let's give Jesus up. All things are done by Him. Amen. Amen. But now there's something happening to this man. He feels he's been prodded into the unjust decision. He realizes that now he has examined this man and I find no fault in him. All true words can never be spoken. You got to watch how you pick up a sword or how you pick up a hammer and nail. Amen. How, you, how you begin to build somebody's crucifixion cross on them. You gotta watch what you're listening to when somebody's talking to you about Jesus Christ. Because, you see, they might not know Him in His glory like you do. And they might not know Him in His love like you do. You see, Pilate was making the decision. And here he was. He was standing there. He said, listen to this. They brought me a man of the Jews. They brought me a man here who I heard from their own tongues that he's the king of the Jews. And they bring him to me. And I'm going to examine him. You see, he thinks he's being tricked into doing something that's going to profit the Jews but he doesn't know that God is going to present unto us from the Lamb of God which taketh away the sins of the world and Satan is in trouble but he thinks that they're bringing him so that he would have the crucifixion on his hands and so now he's saying wait a minute they're tricking me as much as I'm tricking them. Did you know the devil can't trust nobody? Cool. He just can't trust you. Because he puts things into your mind and things into your life that, that later on you might even go out there and use them against him. Isn't that true? Did you, every now and then, did you know that when you're trying to help somebody that's drowning, that while they're drowning, they don't have no friends? Yes. Nobody, no friends. And if you go there to be to, to be a friend to them and save them, if you don't watch out, they will pull you under too. Amen. Because all they're worried about is saving themselves. Amen. Wow, that's deep. Yeah. Pilate's here, and he's got the Son of God. Amen. But he thinks that the Jews are tricking him. He's fighting with them. He don't like them, and they don't like him. And so when he comes in there to show his power, he always has to be on guard because he knows they're out there to trick him up. And that's what he's doing to them. But I can't trust him either because he's out there to trick them up. What are you saying, Pastor? He found Jesus with no fault. That's right. But he tried to be neutral. He didn't want to agree with Jesus, and he didn't want to agree with the Jews because it's a trick. So I'm not going to do nothing. It's just a big trick. You know, you know how many people today try to stand neutral? I don't believe against him, and I don't believe for him. Look over somebody and see if you can't do that. You've got to make a decision. You see, he got so neutral that he went over and washed his hands. You're not going to find no blood on these hands. I didn't kill him. I haven't taken his life. I haven't believed in him. But I haven't taken his life. How many people in your family today that are sitting neutral they don't want to believe with you and they don't want to believe against you 
wash my hands. You see, someday their decision is going to be required of them. What are they going to do? He finally knows here at the cross that neutrality, standing neutral, has failed because Jesus is going to be crucified. Because you didn't stand up and stop it. Because you didn't stand up and make your stand for Jesus. He's going to be crucified today, King. They're going to crucify this man called Jesus. They're going to crucify this man called the King of the Jews. And so, what are you going to do now because your neutrality hasn't stopped? So he says to himself, I'll put the blame on them. And he makes a, a, a sign. And he says, don't you love the words that's on that scripture? Jesus of Nazareth. The Bible even said it. They said nothing good comes out of Nazareth. And so Pilate says, he's from that place over there where nothing good comes from. Jesus of Nazareth, the king of the Jews. Oh, hallelujah. You see, he's trying to slap them in their face. You don't want me as your king. You don't want them as your king. I'll give you something that comes from a place called Nazareth, which nothing good comes out of it. And he's your king. I wash my hands of it. Oh, what a statement. Now it's written. It is written. But he's made the wrong decision. Why did he do this? Because now anger has come upon him. He's angry at the crowd for their words. He's angry with himself for his weakness. His wife even tried to get him to crucify Jesus. His wife tried to tell him that he's no good. The king was being pulled by too many other people. Now the king was allowing them to rule themselves. And he was mad with himself. He was mad over his words. You know, some will be eternally angry over wrong decisions in life. Friends got an Aunt Bert. Aunt Bert said, don't put me in the grave next to so-and-so because if you do, I'll just roll over and kick him. <laughs> People in life just made the wrong decisions. People in life because of a beer or an alcoholic drink or whatever have said, you know what? When I die, you can just put me over here and just drop me over there. And somebody's heard that decision and said, you know what? That's the only thing I've ever heard of them, that they, they want to be born and, and, and die like that. You know, people make wrong statements in life. Yeah. And somebody puts it down. It is written. Yeah. Yeah. And they don't want to change it. Some people have made decisions in life before they come to the Lord. And they fail to go back and tell somebody, there's been a change in me. I'm not the man I used to be. I'm a new man now. I'm walking after Christ. All them old things I said, let them be buried. Let them be gone. Let them be, be put behind me. 